Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Mirror's Edge. Last time we finished Chapter 2, Jackknife, uh, we're on to Chapter 3, Heat. We're looking for a wrestler called Ropeburn, uh, who was, uh, who was Pope's security before he got murdered. Um, so we want to find out what happened, figure out how Ropeburn is involved, and we're going to go look for him, basically, uh, based on Jackknife's advice. So, off we go. Hopefully we can find the three bags in this level without uh, needing to replay it. Uh, we have gotten all the bags in prologue. Uh, we've missed a couple of bags and all the levels after that, so... I'm going to be going back and redoing levels to find the bags. Uh, when I have some spare time in a video. Uh, which I did last video. We went back to prologue and grabbed the last bag there as part of the previous video. Up we go! A lot of pristine white buildings here. I think I can jump up to this? No, too tall. Um, super remember what happens in this part of the game. <laughs> okay, we can get up there by doing the the old run up the wall and then turn around trick. Kind of hard to see what you're doing because it's in first person, but yeah, you're running up the wall, kicking off it to go to the wall on the other side, which gives you a bit more height. Uh, you can't do that indefinitely, like you could in a standard platformer, like a like a Mario game or something. But it gives you a little extra height, and then you can grab the ledge and go from there. <sighs> a little tired. At least I'm yawning. Might not be tired. It could be something else. Could be uh, super cute. <laughs> uh, I don't think I've missed any bags yet. I haven't seen the runner symbol, at least. Keeping my eyes peeled, because, you know, I do want to find them. Oh! Yeah, if you mess up the um, run up the wall, turn around trick, uh, that's what happens. Faith just basically falls on her butt. Okay, it wants us to go through the door, so I'm going to not go through the door. See if I can find something hiding out here that may be of interest. Uh, looks like no, so we're going to go through the door. <laughs> uh, Alright. Bam. This is full of orange. Welcome to the orange room. Okay, there's a runner symbol, so let's have a look around. Oh, right, yeah. Um, we need to squeeze through here. Uh, no? I think this is where the main level is. Uh, I would like to find the bag first, so let's just back up a little bit. There it is. Okay, then we have to squeeze our way through here. Squeezy, squeezy, squeeze. And we can go this way. I assume the next bag won't be too close to the one we just got, so we can probably just, uh, tune out for a little bit. Not too long, though. Okay, that's not doing what I want at all. <laughs> there we go. I was trying to do the, um, you know, sp the springboard thing, where you go boing boing up the two pieces, but I guess they're too far apart for that. Uh, there's a lot of cool tech here. We're looking for some cool tech. There's some here. Uh, I don't know what any of it does, but it's cool. Uh, if you just want to climb into ventilation shaft, that's also cool. Have a little bit of crawl. 
I don't think you ever break these covers off in this game. I know in, a, in like Half-Life, for example, you break a lot of those covers, but not so much here. You should not have a crowbar. So yeah, that was Ropeburn. Um, we just fired on his conversation, and now we're in his office. And so Ropeburn did know something, huh? Wonder who he's meeting with. Get back here, and we'll find a way to make you an uninvited guest. Hey, look sharp. I'm getting Blue's heading for you. He must have triggered a silent alarm somewhere. Ass out now. Yeah, well, you now. Uh, being accosted by the blues. The elevator doesn't work, so we have to try something else. We can use these waterfalls. Beautiful waterfalls. And we can smash through that glass with our bare hands. <laughs> sure, that wouldn't hurt at all. I mean, we're using our ungloved hand to smash through things, including glass. Uh, it's just a bit silly. More blues. Head for the roof. Don't yeah, if you're standing still, you just kick it, but if you're running, you actually smash it with your ungloved hand. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, that would hurt. Uh... I'm not sure what I did wrong there, the swing just didn't quite happen. You gotta run past them like this. Okay, now we're back inside. We should be okay. As far as I can tell, I don't seem to know how to come inside. Oh, right, this elevator's broken. What about this? So yeah, um, we can't use the elevator, but we need to go through here, so let's just improvise. Shit, Heck yeah. <laughs> There's a little mouse. Or a rat. I can't really tell the difference, but they're very cute. And we're not gonna hurt them, because this is a game we don't have to do that. Yeah, that chop is not good. Uh, we don't want to make our way away from that. <laughs> Let's grab the zip line. Uh, 
Run, 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 run. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna use these pipes. Fighter. Um, also, I'm kind of lost. Oh, this way? Okay. Yeah, I can go this way. Oh, these poles. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to fight them in order to climb up there because the pole climbing is very slow. Use our environment here. If we can. Okay. 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 You can't really run while holding a gun, so I'm gonna drop it in a moment. Okay, here we go. Let's get out of here. Whew. Give me a couple tries there. Okay. I think we're still only in one runner bag for the level, right? Is there something that tells me? One out of three, yeah. I feel like I should have seen a second one by now. Oh, there's a runner logo. Here we go. That's two. Regular elevator. It makes a change from the uh, pole in an elevator shaft with no elevator. <laughs> the newest threat to children running. <laughs> Get over there, but do that. I'm gonna wanna here. Oops. It's a bit of a long way down. No, don't do that. Oh, gosh. Yeah, the controls are context sensitive, so if they don't quite understand what you want to do, something bad happens. As you've just got a, like a jump button and a crouch button, and the jump button sometimes wall runs and sometimes vaults, and there's a lot of different things it can do. 
Uh, and if you happen to vault over a wall you're trying to wall run on, you're gonna have a problem. I have a bit of a bad time, one could say. Oof. Uh, uh, that wasn't ideal. I tried to jump off the wall right at the end to get a little more height, but... Yeah, we want to get, we want to take some cover and get inside scaffolding. Uh. They're being shot up from all directions. Yeah, that'd be helpful to have some cover. Okay, let's get into the scaffolding a little quicker this time. Hopefully we can find ourselves a nice safe place to hang out. What's safer than walking on a suspended pole over a city? There we go. Perfectly safe. I think the last runner bag is somewhere in the scaffolding, but I forget exactly where. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, hang on. Is it here? No, oh, it's something else yellow. Dang. <sighs> Could have been it. But it was not. It was something else. Same spot. Uh, but I want to get back down on the scaffolding uh, because I'm pretty sure the last bag we need is in here somewhere. Have a quick look around, see if we can find it. in you. I have faith in you. <laughs> oh, I made a joke. Okay, um, oh hello. What are you doing here? Apart from shooting me in the face with a shotgun that didn't kill me for some reason. Maybe it's after the cranes? Uh, I can't remember. Well, uh, let's Get up there. The lettuce, there we go. You wanna get under this crane? Cranes are near the end of the stage, I know that much. I'll be on the other side of this ladder. <laughs> oh my goodness. All ladders have a front and a back and it's impossible to climb the ladder from the back. Did you know that fact? Okay, here we go. It's crane time! Did you just do what I think you did? God damn it, girl, I just spilled my Joe all over ah. the keyboard. Hey, can you get a message to Miller? I need to see him again. Sure. Okay, I can see there's a marker here, which means the last one is around 
here somewhere. There's the marker. I think it's in that last last crane, which I can climb up to by doing something like this and this. Since you don't actually need to stand on this crane, you just like jump down to the soft platform. So the crane is a decent place to hide something. Like for example, the third runner bag for the stage, which we have just found. Oops. Okay, just let us respawn. Oh, we're back here. Okay, yeah, we can go from here. You can just redo this last little bit, that's fine. Uh, the bag stays collected, so we have to do that again. I believe it does anyway. Yeah, it did. Just wanted to make sure. Okay, here we go. And plump. Did you just do what I think you did? Yeah. God damn it, girl. I just spilt my Joe all over the keyboard. Hey, can you get a message to Miller? I need to see him again. Sure. And that's how the level's supposed to end. <laughs> Okay, we got all the bags that time. Good for us. Loading chapter. There's Miller. CPF Underground Car Park. I received your message. I started looking into Ropeburn. Why? He's Travis Burfield, Pope's head of security. You think he killed Pope? Maybe. He sure as hell set Kate up. Wanted a cop to go down for it, and he wasn't alone. Heard him mention Project Icarus. Burfield is dangerous, Faith. He's not someone you want to mess with. He framed my sister. I'm sorry, Faith. For what? For this. I don't want Kate to go down for this either. But we've got private firms muscling in on our districts. Bolstering city security, they call it. They're breathing down our necks, waiting for us to slip up. The only way they might go easy on us, and easy on Kate, is if I give them... Me. Yes. All I care about is Kate. And for her sake, I'm gonna let you go. But if you pull a gun on me again, I will kill you. And right now, I think I'd be doing the city a favor. I like Faith. I think she's a good protagonist. I like her a lot. There's a bird going in the direction of Roeburn's meeting. You think it's Roeburn's pal? Maybe. But it looked like a CPF one to me. And how many other people can get their paws on a bird in this place? Not many. Hey, you better keep going if you want to catch them. And keep off street level two. Blue's around. Okay, so that's level f level four, I think. Yeah, rope burn. So we're actually gonna see. We're actually gonna meet up with rope burn properly in that one instead of just sort of eavesdrop on him. Uh, but since it's only been 20 minutes, instead of jumping into the next level right now, we're gonna go to chapter one and see if we can find some bags. We found one of three, so that's a good start, but we need to find three of three. So let's get hunting. I don't think there's anything up here, but let's just take a little look. A little look -aroo. I don't think there's anything this early in the stage. Oh, yep, there's a, there's a, there's an icon. I think it's just on top of this building. So up we go. There it is. I guess that's two out of three. Oh, 
<laughs> we just made that. <laughs> there's been some heat on West Arland, Pope's place. I guess that's where you're headed, but be careful. I'll tell him what's going on there. Okay, so this first little bit, very easy. Uh, we already got the bag, so there won't be another one for a little while. Uh, we're gonna want to jump up here, so we've got enough height to make it down there safely. Oops. I say safely. Okay. If you build up the right amount of momentum, you can see you can get through stuff a lot more easily. You just sort of jump over obstacles and things. Very, very straightforward. Whereas if you get slowed down a little bit, then everything becomes a little bit harder. There we go. Okay, so we have one bag we need to find. Actually, we have two bags. We need to find the last one. Uh, it could also be the first. No, it's not the first one. It could be the middle one, though. Elevator. While in the elevators, I like to, I like to sort of look at Faith's shadow. I really like seeing, you know, her hair move around. And then I turned out to be a girl. <laughs> <sighs> okay, uh, so we're gonna skip that cutscene. We can't go back in there, so that's not relevant. Um, where is the next bag? Do I just see a runner symbol down here? No, that was a fire extinguisher. Same colour though. Yeah, this place is kind of a bit of a labyrinth, so it's very possible we just didn't go into the right room. And hence, Mr. Bag. Get out of there, Faith. Run, run, run. You have to say run as you play, as you run, otherwise it doesn't work. <laughs> so, it's a little tip about how this game works. Should be an exit through the accounting office. Red. Oh, it's just a stapler. I want to make sure I don't miss anything. Um, I punched by accident and that messed up my whole flow. <sighs> Up we go. Oh. Yeah, you have to keep moving. Else, uh, bad things happen. Get out of that building, okay, running time. Squad swarming on you, face. Find a way out of there. Okay, we're running, we're running. Oh, that's not working. Let's take the stairs. After smashing some glass with our bare hands. <laughs> Again. It just really seems to enjoy doing that. Seeing where the bag could be. Probably makes sense to just look this up to save some time, but eh, I like searching. It's fun. Okay, 
Okay, checkpoint. Um, Okay, that's Bob Boy, but we aren't supposed to go that way. Weaving around all these buildings to see if they have a little red marker on them, but they don't seem to. Yeah, for a game where you're constantly under pursuit, like, having to stop and look for little hidden things doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but we're doing it. We're doing it. We're making this happen. There's no reason to come over here, and but you can, so is there something hidden in here? Doesn't look like it. Around the corner, maybe? No? Okay, uh, this is where the, there was a bag just here, but we got it, so... There's one more somewhere. Also falling. <laughs> Let Faith, you meant to grab the thing. Yeah, as much as I love this game, Probably partially for gender euphoria reasons. Uh, sometimes faith doesn't quite do what you want. During gameplay, I mean. In the cutscene, she's awesome. <laughs> Run 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 grab okay 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 we're on this thing now continue momentum to jump, but yeah, that was gonna happen. <sighs> okay. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a bag on this spot either, so let's get into the CEC building. Okay, there's a bunch of blues over there, so we're gonna go this way. Let's get into the elevator before they can get us. Cute hair, cute hair, cute hair. <laughs> this was definitely one of the things that made that like appeal made this had this blah. one of the things about this game that really appealed to me. Like it's a game that gives you so much more awareness of your body in first person than any other game. Play as a cute girl. So perfect. <laughs> oh gosh. Picking up squad cars moving in on you. You ain't got much time. Okay, uh the part where we go through the subway is next. Maybe the bag is there somewhere.
I really ought to just check a guide so I know where I'm looking. Because, yeah, I haven't played this game in six years. Uh, so I can't remember where anything is. Run through here. You gotta push through to the plaza, Faith. There's a route through the tunnel ahead. Okay, I think the tunnels maybe have what I'm looking for. Get some air in your lungs and run, Faith. Keeping my eyes peeled. Here's some red. Be a great place to hide a little red symbol. Just keep running. Mm. Should be an exit off the rail overpass that flies ahead. Creek heads to the other side to get down. Red? No, it's other red things. Hmm. Blues up ahead, kiddo. One at a time, remember. I think it's this part. I think it's in in this part the last bag is. There's a couple of different ways to take on this part, and I took a very specific sort of route. Head up onto the rail overpass. It's the only way through. I'm gonna have a bit of a look around here, see if I can spot any little red symbols. Alright, yeah, I don't think I can break this glass. Yeah, I can't. I'm not seeing symbol anywhere. Well, see, so yeah, if I can just run indefinitely, um. You don't have, like, limited stamina or anything. You can just run forever. She's very powerful. I'm running out of level. I guess Rail Overpass is the last part of the stage. Hmm. I'm probably going to look up a guide so I know where I'm looking for later levels just to simplify things. Sliding down that thing... And yeah, you just jump off there, and that's what the level ends. It's now cutscene. Hmm. Okay. So, I suddenly found two bags there. Hmm. Uh, well, next time, uh, we're moving on to chapter four. <laughs> and also, I'm going to check a guide so that I know where I'm looking for the bags. <laughs> just so that I don't waste time having to find bags later. <laughs> Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!